Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this kind of intro animation for your videos, for your blogs so that the content become more interactive and engaging. And we are going to use Canva, free Canva or paid Canva whatever you have. We are going to use Canva tool only to create this kind of intro animation. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. So guys, in order to create this type of intro animation, obviously we need to log in into our Canva account and you need to go to create a design option. Just click here and type in video. When you type video here, you'll be able to see video 1920 by 1080 pixels. Just select it and you'll be redirect to a completely new tab, right? Now, first we need to create a background image. For that, we are going to click on elements and here I'll type in drone shot so that I can get a perfect shot which I can use in my background. And I think drone shot would be the perfect image type. So here I can see photos or you can directly go to photos from here as well. And from here you can use different kind of images. You can use this one, you can use this one or let's scroll a little bit down let's find another one you can use this one as well right i'm going to use this one this one is looking a little bit more punchy right so let's fit in like this okay it is in the middle right now this is looking perfectly good right now you need to add the text over here so for that you need to click on text and select add a headline and type in Singapore right once you type in Singapore you can customize the text otherwise you can select these fonts as well if you want right but minimalistic ones is good so uh, I've selected this one and let me scroll a little bit down let me okay this leaks pattern font is looking good if I apply this yeah this is how it is going to look like now obviously I need to change the color to white so that it could be more visible. Okay, let me select the font, go to colors and select the text color. And let me increase the size. And still it is kind of a kind of invisible. It is not properly visible. So obviously we need to apply one effect from here. So let me go to effects and select lifts so that it can look more visible and if you increase the intensity it will look more visible like this right now this is properly visible and looking good now this is what we can use in a background right so once the background is ready just you need you, uh, you just need to click on this share button so that you can download the this background as image format so you need to go to download option and in the file type menu bar you need to click on this uh, menu bar and select png image or you can go for jpeg as well jpg but i'm going to select png and the size will be 1920 or if you want you can increase the size as well let me hit the download button the image is getting downloaded yes it's downloaded now if i click here you can see the image this is how the image is looking like you can see the clarity and yeah this is looking good let me close this now the background is done now let me go back to canva home okay and again click on a create a design and type in video again here so that we can get a new tab and we can start creating our intro animation or you can say video animation right so uh, we got a new blank sheet over here now this time what we need to do is we need to go to uploads right if you are into elements or design whatever you, wherever you are go to uploads click on upload files and just upload the image which is this right and click open once it's uploaded here you need to drag this image and drop here and resize it properly and this is how it is going to look like now once you have placed the image you need to right click here and you need to click or you need to set this image as a background so select this and now this image has been set as background now go back to elements search here 
airplane or you can type in real airplane like I'm typing real airplane airplane so that you can get airplane graphics or airplane images so you can see this or maybe you can use this both are looking good for example I'm going to select this one and I need to change the angle to this 90 degree resize it a little bit obviously you need to increase the size yeah this size is perfectly fine now let me just make it bring it to center and now you need to go to elements again you need to search here rectangle when when you type in rectangle you will see the shape just click here and this is what the shape we got so first what we can do is we can change the color to any whatever the color you want I'm going to use a punchy little bit punchy color like this blood red or maybe you can go to a little bit pinker shite let me go to pinkish yeah it is looking good now increase the size of this rectangle so that it can cover the complete image like this right and bring it almost like this so that the plane could cover properly right now the plane is properly covered from here now obviously wings are visible okay so we need to cover the wings also so what we can do is we can select this shape this rectangle and we can press ctrl d in order to duplicate the same image now we need to resize it a little bit so that i can cover the wings as well like this and the wings are also covered now but this this wing is uh, still visible so let me press ctrl d again and i got another duplicate shape this time i'm going to change the angle and this one is also covered let me just make it a little bit yeah now it is completely covered now what we need to do is we need to select all the elements like this we have selected all the elements right because back uh, the main image is background set as background so uh, the main image will not be selected we have selected the uh, shape only right all the shapes and the elements we have added now we need to group these all these elements and we need to cover the element but before that we left one more thing let me just ungroup all the things so it is now as it is or you can just press ctrl z to back to the same option so all the elements are ungrouped now so what we have done is we have selected all the elements and pressed group in order to make the group but first we need to bring this aeroplane forward airplane forward so uh, we have to select this ele element or the image airplane and we need to go to layer and we need to click on bring to front so that it can look like this right now as you can see the image if i zoom in a little bit here the wings are uh, basically are not able to cover the shape so i can change the like this so that it can properly cover yeah now it is fine not that much visible yeah it is now fine little bit cosmetic changes now what we need to do is now this time we need to select the image uh, i mean all the elements and just group it and once it's grouped just drag it to all the way end here like this and okay let's bring the aeroplane here so that we can ungroup once again so that uh, I can increase the size of this rectangle because while it is grouped I can't increase the size of this rectangle right so in order to uh, increase the size of this rectangle I need to ungroup it so let me just 
do it. So I'm going to ungroup again and I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to do like this. Let me go from this side as well. Okay, now it's fine. Let me increase a little bit more from this side. Yes, I've increased the rectangle so that I can cover the aeroplane. Now press control all again. Everything is selected including the airplane. Now again press control, I mean press group so that the plane can be grouped properly and now just disappear the plane like this. Right. Now the plane has been disappeared. Now what we need to do is our clip is ready. Our first clip is ready. This five second clip is ready. Now just select the clip and press control D or you can click on this uh, three dot icon or you can just click I mean right click on the mouse and you can duplicate this clip. So I have two uh, five second clips and here in the first clip we are going to uh, write in all the text right. So let's go to the text option and select heading and type in whatever you want for example travel and you can change the font obviously. You can change I mean you can take a little bit funky font like this one travel yeah it is looking good right increase the size of it okay bring it to middle like this now we need to right click in the font and we need to click on show timing when you show timing as you can see the timing of this uh, text is covering all the five seconds but we don't want to show this uh, element or this text for complete five seconds so we can decrease the timing to 2.5 seconds or maybe two seconds it is totally up to you right so i'm going to uh, keep it for 2.5 seconds so basically what i've done if i play this clip i can see this travel text for only 2.5 uh, seconds only right so i've changed the timing of this uh, text now i'm going to apply the animation to this text as well so that it could look more fancy and more appealing to the eyes so I'm going to use baseline. If you want, you can use any other uh, animation as well, like this. This one, this one's also look good. Typewriter. Or maybe you can use shift. Or maybe you can use drift. Tectonic. It is totally up to you. I'm going to use baseline, right? So in baseline, you can increase the speed of the text, enter text, right? If you want, you can decrease the text as well. Yes, even you can add the animation. For example, right now it is set on both. So basically, uh, it will animate in the starting and the exit as well. But if you select any specific, like if you just want to uh, add it into the entry or the exit, you can specifically set that as well. And even you can select the direction as well. Right now it is upward. Right now, after this, we are going to add one more text. So to add one more text, you can manually go to the text form option and you can select the heading again and you can type in, you can set the font again or you can just duplicate this font only. So again, we are going to press control D or like we are going to right click here and select the duplicate button. And this time I'm going to type in two and I'm going to set it in the middle as well like this. And if I click here show timing I got the timing of 2 as well so for 2.5 seconds starting 2.5 seconds we are going to show travel and the end of this two, uh, this clips 2.5 second we are going to show 2 right 2.5 seconds as you can see right now in this uh, text the animation has already been added because we have duplicated the uh, previous text. Now the animation is going to look like this. Now our first clip is done. It's time to add the transition between these two clips so that we can work on the second clip. So let's just uh, hover the cursor between these two clips. Once you hover your cursor between these two clips, you will be able to see two options, add a page or add transition. So we are going to add a transition here and we need to select the flow transition like this. Right, right now it is going a uh, different side, but we are going to make it work. So select the flow transition. You can increase the duration of this flow transition to 
uh, 2.5 seconds if you want or you can uh, decrease the transition whatever size you want right i mean whatever duration you want so let's go with 2.5 seconds right now and the direction would be this one like this right direction will be this and in this animation what we are going to do is i mean in this clip the anim uh, transition has been selected right now just select this clip and select the element i mean all the element which we have grouped already just take it to all the way to the right like this like this right and that's it now when we play this animation this is going to look like this right so this is how this animation can be created if i play it once again right now if you want you can make few cosmetic changes like in duration like in uh, text like in colors like in font like in design whatever you want but the basic things basic principle of creating this intro animation will be like this only i hope you like this tutorial and if you want to learn more canva tutorials like this you can subscribe to the channel don't forget to comment down below like i want more tutorials like this so that i can know you want these kind of tutorials and i'll create more tutorials like this <laughs>